hi welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how to make these cute coasters in a heart shape so this is what you're going to need you're going to need a yarn so today i'll be using this uh, leftover yarn that i have and a t-shirt yarn and the width of this yarn is seven millimeter and then you're gonna need a crochet hook I'm using this one, 10, mm, 10 millimeter crochet hook. And then you're going to need a yarn a needle. And you're also going to need something to cut your yarn at the end. So let's start. Starting, we are going to do a slip knot. So this is how I do my slip knot. Then we are going to chain two. We are going to chain two. So this is one and then two. Then we are going to use the first chain. This is where we're going to start single crochet. So our first row is going to have only one stitch, then chain two, turn your work, then we are going to use the second chain. We are not going to count the chain on the hook. So this is one and two. So we're going to use this one. Then the first stitch that we created, we are going to do an increase. Okay, on this first stitch. So on row two, we are going to have three stitches. Then we are going to chain two. Then turn our work, second chain. And then on this last stitch, we are going to do an increase. Let me show you one more time. So we are going to continue like this up to when we are going to have 13 stitches. Once we have 13 stitches, I will show you what to do next but for now we are going to continue doing chaining two and then doing the increase on the last stitch so i'm going to show you one more time chain two second chain you continue single crochet And then once on the last stitch, you are going to do an increase. Quite hard, but it's okay. Okay, so you're going to continue up to when you're going to have 13 stitches, and then I'll show you what to do next. So now that we have 13 stitches on this row, we are going to add four more rows with 13 stitches. So all we have to do, we just have to chain one, turn our work, and then continue single crocheting. We are going to continue single crochet four more rows. And then after that, I'll show you what to do. So after adding the four more rows with, uh, with 13 stitches so we are going to chain one and then we are going to decrease the first stitch
then we are going to single crochet six stitches so this is going to be the first six then chain one and turn your work then you are going to decrease again the first stitch So one, two, three, and then we are going to decrease again one more stitch. So on this row total, we're going to have four, one, two, three, four stitches, chain one, then turn your work. We are going to decrease again one more stitch. Then we are going to decrease again. So we had four stitches. We are going to decrease the first one and then we're going to decrease the third one. So now we have two stitches. We chain one. We turn our work and then we decrease again one stitch and now we have one stitch at the top so we are going to chain one and single crochet all around okay so no more single crochet So once we are here at the bottom, we are going to single crochet three times. And then I'm going to, when I'm single crocheting around, I'm going to carry this short yarn here. When uh, we are here at this corner, let me show you. This corner, we are going to single crochet twice. One, two, three, four, and then we are going to chain one. So once we've chained one, we are going to decrease the first stitch. Then we are going to continue and single crochet six stitches. One, and the sixth stitch is going to be here from where we stopped the last one. Six. Then we are going to chain one, turn our work, and do the same. The same way we did the previous side so we're going to do the same when doing this side you have to be very careful to not come and crochet this stitch so you have to remember after single crocheting six you chain one you turn the next row should have four stitches
so now that we have one stitch at the top we are going to chain one then we are going to single crochet from here to where there's this V Okay, so I've single crochet up to this V. Now I'm going to cut my yarn. And then, okay, pull it all through. I'm going to use my yarn needle so this is what we are going to do so after inserting our yarn on the needle so you see this first stitch we are going to skip it we are going to use the second stitch this V so we are going to insert our needle pull okay tight and then come back to this stitch where our yarn was coming from and then insert your needle and then pull through then pull tight so that you can still have a V so after pulling tight you can still do one more just go to the next uh, stitch you insert then you pull then insert then you pull so this one i'm going to weave in the i'm going to weave it in here at the back okay i'm just going to weave it in here at the back so please Subscribe to my channel if you've liked this tutorial and don't forget to click the like button and also the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, a new tutorial, you'll be able to be notified. Thank you for watching my channel. Now I'm going to cut. Now I'm going to cut this. So you can also find the pattern of this coaster on my blog. I'll leave the link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you had a great time learning how to use this uh, coaster in a heart shape uh, with a single crochet. Thank you.